Hey, this is Bill Zimmerman from One Click Lead and InternetMarketingWizard.com. This is going to be a tutorial video on how to create a Facebook application to use for One Click Lead. Okay, now here I am at the One Click Lead new button page. Basically, you just click on the little link here. It's going to take you to Facebook. This is going to take you to developers.facebook.com slash apps. And uh, basically, you're going to have all of your um, applications here on the left and you have to create an application for each domain that you will use one click lead on so for example if you have a domain bluewidgets.com and you're going to use the uh, one click lead button on bluewidgets.com you need to create an application for that domain uh, for every if you have a, another domain called greenwidgets.com and you're going to use one click lead on that domain you need to create an application for that domain as well. So just to be clear again, I want to repeat that for every domain you're going to use one click lead on, you need to create a Facebook application. Okay, so first step is going to be to click on create new app. Now it's going to ask for the app display name. You can name this whatever you want. I usually just name it after the, the domain. So let's say my domain is test domain. Just agree to the policies, click continue. Okay, now once you create the domain, this is going to be the screen that's going to show. As you can see here, you have um, your applications. This is the test, this is the name of the, uh, the app. Okay, here's my app ID here, and here's my app secret key here. Now there are a few things you have to still set. If you go down to app domain, you have to put your domain in here. So let's say my domain is just testdomain.com, testdomain.com. Now you have to go down to this section here, click on website. And that's how it has to be. Um, at, in the app domain uh, portion, you don't need the HTTP, you can just put testdomain.com. In the website location, you have to put include the HTTP and the www if you use the www. Uh, if you don't, then you don't need it, but you do need the full URL here. And up here, you do not need the full URL. And just click Save Changes. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Here's your app ID and app secret, uh, secret key and that is what you put in here and here. Alright, if you have any other questions feel free to send us a ticket. Thanks.